Why? Why? <sighs> okay, this is gonna be fun. Well, I doubt it, but who knows? It's gonna be a challenge, that's for sure. 1960 Chaos Dwarfs. So if I had not bought that player, I don't think I could have been able... I could have... I would have been able to get matched against these guys, so I'm even more <laughs> mad at that. Yeah, because that would have put me at 510k, and the maximum cutoff is 500k. We could not have gotten matched against this guy if I had not bought that player just now. And he doesn't have a Minotaur, so that means he's gonna have a lot of skills. Oh boy, and he's even missing a player! Yay! Oh god, this is gonna be horrible. So first of all, he does have 14 players though, so let's see. Dirty player block, we've got Surehands block, kickoff return, leader. We've got... no, not leader, that's pro. Isn't it pro? It's pro. Not sure why he went pro there. That's weird. This guy's got leader block, frenzy though, strength 4 hobgoblin, then we've got guard, guard, mighty blow, piling on, guard, strength, guard, okay. No claw though, just one player with claw down here. He's got a agility 3 dodge, bull centaur, and a block guard. So it's very bashy and very guardy, but he doesn't have that much. He has only one claw player, so this could be worse overall, I think, all things considering. What does this look like, though? like to know that. Mm, good record, or decent record at least. So I've got 460k. Um, yeah. A bribe might be a good investment, but I'm also considering... A star player here. Puggy. We do this. There we go. Not sure about that, but I think it's what we need to do. We've got Helmut, which is the chainsaw for the humans, but he's also apparently the, the, the orc placeholder model, or the goblin. Um, but with the two bribes, I've got my dirty player, then we've got the chainsaw. Now I think that might be. We also got a wizard and a babe, at least. So hopefully that'll be fine. And let's see what this is going to be. Yeah, Chainsaw, he's got Stand Firm as well. And how do we, how do I set up here? Because I really don't want to put the Ogre on there. If I can avoid it, I think. I don't know, these need to be one further back. Which means I have to use other players for that. And we'll also have to expose stuff. But let's get the setup down first. Yeah, there's more down here. I remember. I remember. We do need to set up the thrower because he's got that. Yes, then we've got all this. And then, first of all, these two switch. Do I give him the dirty pluck? Dirty player block guy or the agility four? I think we keep the agility four. He does have a niggling though, so yeah, we're not gonna go there. Nope, not gonna go with the halfling master chef. That one is always a big, big gamble. And it's a gamble that I'm not willing to risk. Right now, um, yeah, I don't I think unfortunately it needs to be him right there. Not a big fan, but it's how it's got to be, I guess. And with all the guard, the claw, it's fine. We'll see. We'll see. It is definitely doable, but it won't be super easy. That team battle difference is quite significant. But if I can use the chainsaw to a bigger effect than the guy that we played against a while ago, or in the last match, um... We might be able to really make something happen. It could instantly fail as well. We, we won't know that. 
And then he, the thing about Chaos Dwarves at least is, he's got a lot of Hobgoblins who are all armor value 7. So if I start going after those first, I might actually get something here. Because he's got 14 players. No, he's got 13 players? Oh yeah, no, he's got 14, but one is missing, so he's down to 13. I'm up to 13, so we both have two reserve players. It could go either way. Him having the strength... The, for, he has four strength four players, plus just an obscene amount of guard. So getting my blocks will be very, very difficult, since my only guard player is injured right now. That's just a huge issue. But at least I've got agility four on him, which could make help with the ball handling from time to time. He doesn't have an agility four player, at least. But he could get an, a strength four ball carrier if he's really willing to try that. So he's probably going to try to pick up the ball with this Hobgoblin and then hand off the ball to him over there. Let's adjust that a little bit for a change. Hope that it doesn't scatter outside. Okay, doesn't. He's got the kickoff return, but at least he can't put, place himself below this. Okay, Riot is fine. Riot is actually perfect for us right now. At least right now, Riot, uh, Riot is good. Because right now it costs him a turn, but if he manages to score, the Riot is obviously going to turn into an issue for us. Since then it might cost me a turn to be able to score at the end. Okay, what, what was up with that weird graphic? That animation just completely broke. That was weird. Good, only a push. And thanks to him pushing me this way and following up, he's also screwed himself out of additional blocks with these guys once again. Uh, so we can work with that. No, that's not good though. And he's most likely going to pile on, I assume. There's the KO, so he's got a one-player advantage. Well... Isn't that just bad? That's the leader, yes? Okay. So, must the tank is now making a block, we're only six. We could also use this as an... That's perfectly fine. He goes for an aggressive reroll? Why would you do that? He's also given me access to Blitz, this Bull Centaur. I think we need to do that, don't we? I was considering going for this guy since it's their leader, and he's armor value 7. But he's, yeah, he's just also moved him away. Yeah, if we use it for fouling, it's plus 3, correct? So that would be better. Uh, he expects to make an armor roll if the player by a chance of adding plus 3 to the score. If the score beats the victim's armor value, then they are injured and lying prone. Furthermore, you add plus 3 for foul action. Yeah, okay. Hmm. We could try to knock him down and then foul him afterwards. What is he doing? Why is he so hell-bent on this guy? Because right now, blitzing, it seems like I should be going for him. Oh, wait. Yeah, I think we're gonna do this or something like this. Yeah. I can get some options, I believe. No, I need to make room first. Ah, oh, come on. No, okay, we need him to move first for that. And that's all. That's fine. Bring him up to there. Because right now, we are going to blitz him. Which works. Unfortunately, I am tempted to follow this. And I think we will. But I wanted to chain push this guy closer to us so that the ogre can get an additional block out of this. Injury, thank you. So I didn't need to follow. And that's one dirty player off the pitch. 
But now I've put myself next to him, which means, which means we might want to foul here. But we'll have to wait and see about that. But now with an assist, even without one already, I can block him. The question is, do I want to do that? Or do I want to foul this guy first? Do we want to start with that? But it's still a 9 plus foul. No. It's a 6 plus foul because Chainsaw. But we, if we knock him down... But that's still an if right now. That's the problem. And I don't like using the Ogre for something that important here. We cannot move ourselves away there. That won't work. Yeah, I think I go for the chainsaw first and then we go for the block. In the hopes that that's going to be good. Let's see. Chainsaw. Got a stun. Didn't get caught, so everything's fine. He's gonna go back here for the, the screen. Also, we need help here. If he really stupids this now, which he doesn't, well, he kind of does. I've got four rerolls. It's risky, but it's a turnover. Thank you. Thank you so much. My god, that was... That would have been a very, very rough start, that's for sure. And that makes all of this fine right now. Anything else we want to do? I could go back there. Be aggressive about this, but I don't think we really want to. We've got this under wraps. We've got this under wraps mostly. So if he goes out, out to here, maybe? Yes. And he's still gonna try to dodge this. Thank you. Okay, perfect. So now he's getting two blocks. This, because I followed, which I shouldn't have, I think. And then the Blitz, but that's about it. We've also got it set up here right away again. I do need to put somebody next to the Ogre. Um, but I'm trying to create some space here as well. Let's see, he's going for Sasha. Doesn't get anything of note, that's good. And as long as he doesn't move one of his guard guys in here, this is already a two die. Right there. Oh. He's, he's, I mean, he's aiming for the star player, which is fine. I don't, I did buy the bribes for him, mostly, so that I can keep him around longer. But I've also got a dirty player, so we're okay with this. We've already injured one player out of um, just SPP or out of, out of blocking. I hope that the, the, the fouling will yield some better results, though. We do need to remove some of his Chaos Dwarf blockers or Bull Centaurs. The Hobgoblins we can remove out of Mighty Blow ourselves, I think. That should be okay. Yep, there we go. Perfect again. My god, what's going on with the block die there? So far, he's not getting the best. I mean, he did get a removal on the first turn, but things could be looking way worse. Oh, buddy. How, where is he going to put the others? I do have the fireball available. So if he just moves one more in here that I can target five, I might go up to six depending on what he does with these guys. Yep. I think we'll fireball this section because it, it contains both bull centaurs. Two, four. Although this would be six guys now. But I need to fireball this. There's no... This would be two, four, six. This would be five. But it would contain both of these. But I think we have to go for numbers here. One KO, lots of knockdowns, god damn. Wow. Okay. Um, 
he doesn't have jump up yet. Which is a big thing. If we do this... Yes, we block here. Which works. Which allows me to... Ah, oh, no. I did a dumb. Yeah. That was stupid. I didn't I didn't think right there it co I'm costing myself something there right now unfortunately. Um Oh, we can fix it though. We can fix it. Fix it, Felix. And that works in more than one way actually, which is interesting. Uh so he just needs to stand up in hindsight. Well, I cannot really fix it, fix it, but I can make it a one die that turns into a two die on the push. So all I have to hope for now is to not roll a skull. We just need to move him forward. Which obviously we then instantly don't. God freaking damn it. That was my own fault. It was so stupid. Wow, really? I'm not a smart person, apparently. I misplayed that so bad. So bad. I mean, with these guys being stunned, we're still looking somewhat okay right there. But we've got some issues coming our way as well. Uh, no, I can get... The issue here is I'm putting all of my players in there right now. But that is a 3 plus foul now. So come on. Ch -ch -ch Chainsaw. Another stun. Which doesn't do what we wanted to. And this time he does turn over. Come on. Two times in a row. So my ogre is underwhelming as always. And now he might actually be able to run away with it in this direction. I should just never use my ogre. There's a reason I have a distinct dislike of big guys. Because they always disappoint me in situations like these. Yep, that was him blocking. He injured the unskilled lineman. But that puts me... No, it puts us a 9 versus 9 again. Then he can block him. So he can't quite run away still yet, but man. That fireball was good. I just completely mishandled that situation. And now he's just... Um, I'm not going to get two, two armor breaks as well. Not only the removal of the stun. Now I'm not going to get another shot at this ball carrier easily. It's nine versus nine now, but... The way I moved in here, it means his guard is going to be in full effect. I also should not be annoyed at the big guy, I believe, because I think he had a really stupid 2 plus roll. Nice, nothing happened there. Did I have a really stupid 2 plus roll? Where is it? Fireball, fireball. Oh no, he made the two he oh no, he made the, the, the bone head, he didn't make the rest. That's what I meant there. Uh, but now chain pushing might actually be a viable option. And also a necessary thing. Also, yeah, he he's always he always got the two plus. I don't need to babysit him. Not sure why I thought I needed to. So let's see about that. If he had guard, this would be so much better. Trying to figure out how to get this going in the correct way that I wanted to. So. I think the chainsaw. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Might be our only option in that case right now. Maybe. Is it? 
possibly, that's for sure. So first of all, I'm going to take a little bit of a risk, put him next to there, uh, just so that this guy will most likely not move. Also trying to figure out if I can push him out further. I can, but it comes with a one-die block, of which I'm not... Oh no, actually we can make that a two-die if I make it the correct. Okay, let's try this. We're going to do this. I need a knockdown here. We get it. So now I can chain push him up to there. We will follow that. That turns this block into another chain push, or into another 2+. plus. Not 2+, plus, 2 die! My god, my vocabulary is suffering today. Which allows us to push him out to here. That way I uh, do not follow that one. That way... We... Oh, I want the Agility 4 guy to be able to get the ball, but... We can't, I think. Or can we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven GFI Blitz. But I can't because he's right there. Yeah, so we're going to have to use him as an assist. That's fine, though. So then we Blitz him. There we go. Oh, so chain pushing does somewhat work. We do get the knockdown, but now picking up the ball is going to be difficult. Of course, come on, give me that injury. Thank you. Awesome. Especially on Mark. He needs more. Good. So we've got that, which is safe. And then we are going to... Foul from right there again. Give me that foul. Come on, give me the removal, please. We got a KO. Still no double, I believe. Nope, so we still have both rerolls. My god. And... I'm gonna try picking it up. Ah, we don't make the GFI. That's bad. Reroll it. Double one on the GFI. Seriously. Man. At least the scatter is still next to me, although up there would have been better. The thing is, this guy could have moved. I probably should have just not done that. Yeah, I got too hasty there. That was a mistake. As I, I, I don't know what's going on today, but right now apparently I'm, I'm, I'm making mistakes that I really shouldn't. I am fixing mistakes because the chain pushes allow me to do that, so luckily all that worked. But I should have just marked this. We've had three tackle zones, which would have been more than enough. He doesn't have a player that could really pick up the ball next to us, so I was in no rush to pick up the ball, and then I could have just used him next turn. And moved up the pitch, so that was un was unnecessary. The double one is still annoying. I mean, even if I had failed just the pickup there, it would have it would have um, at least kept the guy up there. So mm -hmm. not too happy with that. But yeah, my plan here worked. This guy he did get a three die. Still only got a push, but it means this guy won't won't move. And I'm forcing him to do more and more dodges, which he really can't since he didn't, didn't go with break tackle or anything, so this is still fine. Goes for the one die, but makes it, and oh boy, it's the claw mighty blow guy against my niggling. There's the injury. So no picking up the ball with, the, with this guy and his MNG. So, so far, so far it's going, it's back and forth. I do still have a one-player advantage against him right now. Wow, he made that four-plus dodge, eh? Huh. So this is now a bit of an issue. Because I really, really, really want to blitz with the ogre. Or need to, to be exact, but I also don't really want to risk it. We could also chainsaw, but if that doesn't work, it's a problem. Is just going for normal blocks an option? Three. This guy has a guard, so I need three assists, which is all of these guys, basically. Or we could bring him in as well. No, we can't get him in there as an assist easily. Huh. 
I think we're gonna go with the with the safer approach, or try to at least. The ogre moves. That's a prere important prerequisite already. And now that I've set up like this, we do that. So like this. For now, which means we can do that. We knock him out. And that is also... No, I want him to stay there, which means we need to do this like that. Yes. Stay, please. I would have loved to foul him, by the way, but I don't think we really can afford to right now. Now we are going to blitz this guy. We also get the knockdown. That is extremely valuable right now. Let's stay. Because of the piling on, I possibly should have tried to follow. Question is, do I try to pick up the ball now? We probably don't. I think I do this. I bring him into here. He's gonna try to pick up the ball now. It's a 3 plus pickup. Doesn't make it. I'm not gonna re-roll it. I need my last re-roll. We're only at turn... 5. Perfect. Okay, so now he caught it. It's still a turnover. And he does have an angle to blitz me directly. And since he's only strength 2, he can get a 2 die block there. But still, we've got a good defense here. If he had picked up the ball, I would have tried to dodge him out and would have fouled this guy again. He doesn't have dirty player, but still, we would have gotten 4 assists, which needed to be good enough there. It would have made that a 6 plus, I believe. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. And yes, I do notice, in case you guys were thinking about it, that I'm basically trying to do the same thing that the... Uh, orcs, oh god, that's so good. With another push is even better. Which the, the, the orcs that had 410k against my elves did against me. He's just going for fouling. But luckily for me right now, it's just working better than it did for him. I also get a little bit more inducements and had the wizard, which helped all up there. But right now, it's his offense and I have the ball, which I did not expect to happen. I still think he's going to blitz me directly. There we go. With the tackle player as well. Uh, they've got movement four, yes. The thing is, he's still... He's probably going to put me to there. Because that's where it's closest to him. Didn't get through the armor. Come on, no, that scatter is horrible. Why? Man, that scatter is so bad. I still have three tackle zones on it, so it's not com an entire waste. But how the hell am I supposed to... Oh, really? Where does that scatter now again? Oh, I can't even be pretend to be so sad about that. I mean, that's just nice now. I have the ball. The issue is... I have to dodge. I can not get a two die block here. As long as I don't dodge with somebody else first, I can't get a two die block, which mean which just straight up means the first thing we need to do is yeah, exactly, Mark. Run for the hills. We need to run for the hills. So we do that. But, in what direction do we run for the hills? I think we run up this way. Now, if he rolls a 1, I, I don't think it causes a turnover. At least that's what you guys said, but I still want to be sure about that. I'm going to take the GFIs again. Both of them, so if he wants to blitz me, he needs to do a GFI as well. More than one if he wants to make it more than one die as well. So now... It becomes a question of... Yeah, okay. Um, a question of yeah, okay, sure. That makes sense, I guess. How? What's... 
who do I need to knock down here? That is the big question. I think I want to block with the ogre just so that we can move them up so that they can't easily move. But the chainsaw next now would be important as well. So let's chainsaw him. Now I roll a one on the chainsaw. So unfortunately, I will not re-roll that. He only stuns himself and it actually is a turnover. So that is kind of horrible. So I'm more happy than ever that I did that. He has loner and I still think we might lose this ball. So I didn't want to use my last re-roll there. Um on the off chance to keep this guy safe. He's gonna get to block me and he's going to free up players here so we can't do much about that. But he, for one, now not only does he need to retrieve the ball or knock down the ball free, he needs to get it down here as well. And that is going to be extremely difficult in this, uh, in, the, in the remaining half. He needs to set up a scoring threat this half. He needs to clear up the ball. He needs to retrieve it and then get it down to his scoring threat. So, there's just lots and lots of issues. He's gonna knock my team around now. That's the, the, the downside. So, I was planning knocking him down, then giving me, myself an assist right here. Block him. Or I maybe even would have blitzed him and then just put myself next to this guy so that he can't blitz me up there. And then I would have gone with the ogre last and tried to do something about these two guys. Um, so, there was an actual plan in there, just to point that out. But it just, it had to start with Helmut here, and he didn't uh, quite want to cooperate. So let's see if he makes this. He's getting, he's got two chances. He's got Frenzy on this guy, which now does make a lot of sense, unfortunately. But it's also GFIs. And double skulls again, wow. Gets the knockdown. Down to here. Come on, give me a scatter. Not the scatter that I needed, unfortunately. It still puts it out of his reach right now, so he can't at least pick it up. Hmm. This guy doesn't have guard either, which is awesome. So all I need is an assist here. And then I can blitz this guy with a one die. The thing is, he's still not going to score. Because he doesn't have a scoring threat. He can't score here. And that only being a stun is quite nice. So we've successfully defended against him in the first half already. Now I have to try and score against him in the first half, which... Oh, that works. That actually works. I, it would have been more annoying if he would have been closer there, which he wasn't. Because right now, all I care about is that. Do I want to dodge him? I think I'm just going to ignore these guys down here right now, since he can't score anyways. Yeah, this guy's also too far away. We're in no rush right there. So, get the... Get the guy close. I'm probably even going to do the GFI just to put myself next to him there. Was a bit of a risk, but it was okay, and then he's going to do his one die blitz. And that's when I lose my use my last reroll and lose the last reroll. Both both of those. Nothing there, but that's okay. And then I'm also not going to move. So now I've got two tackle zones on the ball, and we do have a clear shot at making this, possibly. Man. Yes. I'm gonna try. Okay, we failed the dodge, so it doesn't work. The thing was, putting us next to theirs basically means he can't do much up here, since this guy would be the only one that, once again, with dodge, uh, with uh, GFIs, he would have been needed to get next to us. Yes, he does have sure feet, but still, always can fail. Uh, it still would have been a risk, since this is his claw mighty blow player as well, and this is my best killer, so I didn't really want to expose him there. Also, we want five more SPP there. And a double. I need that jump up. Knocks us down. That's not that big of a surprise. He could get the pickup. This guy does have agility 3. Oh, is that what happened there? When I had that weird, I thought, uh, visual glitch? Was it just me clipping into uh, into an, an object during the animation? Something like that? 
But apparently he's not really interested in risking things, which I can also understand. So he's just trying to keep me from being able to score there. Yep. That's the right thing to do. But we'll see. I do have a plan. It does involve some risks, though, so I, it probably won't work. But who knows? Who knows? I'm gonna try. Right, one, two. Oh, no, that's two GFIs. Although two GFIs could be better. Oh, if he makes that, my plan is basically toast. Maybe. Let's see. Okay, he makes all of those. I mean, still, it's our offense, and me not scoring there is not the end of the world. Um, we just prevented him from scoring there, so all of that is pretty decent. I guess in that case, we go back to... Since I can't score there, let's face it, it's not going to happen. Um, I'm going to go back to try and remove stuff, so he, Zasha here is going to... Can I turn that into a 3 die already? Uh, 3, 4, 5, 6... No, we cannot, unfortunately. I want to be able to foul at the end, otherwise I would make this... I mean, yes, I am going to try with the dodge and the pickup at the end on site, if, uh, once I'm done with all of this, but it's so unlikely to happen. I don't have a reroll left and all that stuff, so it's it's just... I'm gonna go and try to remove something first here. Okay, it doesn't happen. I also made a mistake there, as I've just realized. I should have blitzed from there. If I blitzed from there, I could have pushed him to here and gotten myself another chance. That was dumb. That was dumb from by me. Uh, still. Still, it's gonna allow us to keep Helmut around a little bit longer as well, so that's the last thing, so... Let's see about that. Nope. But hey, I made it at least so far. The 5 plus... I was a 5 plus 3 plus away, I think, from, from scoring there. So not horrible odds, but... Still a lot of dice rolls, and without a reroll, I wanted to... to not focus on that too too much who hey jared and oh cheers from alaska oh that's uh, what what time is it there that's what i'm wondering right now but hi first of all and how are you yep so i'm gonna have to spend one bright now to keep him on the pitch which we obviously will really will do now it's my offense his KOs came back, unfortunately, which means he does have 11 players still, I think. 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. Yep, there we go. And let's see. So I'm doing way better than I thought I would. The wizard helped. That really stopped him in his tracks because we knocked down so many of them and that cost him an entire round or two of good blocks against me. I didn't get quite the removals with the star player and the fouling yet, unfortunately, but we still have some time. Um, we've removed at least two players so far already. The dirty player is gone. Oh, this guy also had a niggling, apparently. No, it's, no he's just badly hurt. It, I, I still am getting used to, to them showing this, or showing the injury regardless of, of something like that. Oh, it's 2 a.m.? Oh, boy. That's, yeah, 10 hour difference <laughs> right now. Moon time, saw the 2 a.m. North always remembers. Yes, the North remembers. That is true. Okay, he's set up like this. So, how do I set up there in that case? So we probably do this. I've got him right there, him right there. Then I need an assist with him. He's also got a kicker that he can't use because he set him up on the side. Or on the side. Which I'm a big fan of right now. You know what? We actually can... 
do this and that and this and that. So one over, one over, and him in the middle. It's a little bit lopsided, but let's see. No, we need an I need somebody else over there. So let's you know, let's put the dirty player up there after all. And go with something along those lines. So let's think this through again. I'm gonna block him first. Because of the guard. Unfortunately. Yeah, it doesn't quite work out 100% the way I wanted to, I think. Um, but that's okay ish. No, I'm just gonna have to use the ogre more or live with him being a little bit more out there. Mm, we'll see, we'll see. I'm not sure why. Why would. Why would that. Um, oh, hey, Truth Advocate, by the way. How are you? So, why does that suggest that he's okay with a draw? I'm not quite sure. Oh, God, he's got the perfect defense. That is so bad. That is so bad. That takes care of my offense right now. Now we can switch in all the guard players. Oh, no. Why? Why? <laughs> This is so bad. Oh yeah, by the way, thanks for point, uh, posting that again, Mark. So if you want to, guys want to vote again on the team for the, the next match. Possibly the last match. We'll see, though, depending on what time it is. Um, feel free to follow the link down there uh, in the chat and uh, vote on that. Right now, we've got four votes for Lizardmen and three for Humans again. And one for Kislev. So Lizardmen in the lead. Which could also be fun. But yeah, as expected... I mean, that's my offense gone, basically. Um, with the strength four corners now on top of everything, it's just so bad. Ah, uh, I don't know. Wait. What? Hmm. So he's setting up just extremely aggressive now. Hopefully he'll catch the ball at least. But what do I do now? Because my... <sighs> okay, I think we do this. It's kind of difficult right now with him doing all of this or getting the perfect defense. It's hard for us to, to get the, the, the good positioning there, but we'll see, we'll see. If I make it work the right way, it could really be good for us. But now it, I have to rely on, oh god, wow, that's just the one die. Man, that's horrible. God damn it. Whew. Um, I do not really play the tabletop version of the, the, the game, Jared. Um, I've played it a little bit, but not on YouTube. Just, just for, for myself, mostly with my, my brother. And shortly in a Games Workshop organized league that fell apart very, very swiftly. But I just enjoy playing it online here a lot more. So that's why I, I do that usually. Man... This is so bad for us. It's my entire offense is just toast. That's not okay. It's all the guard. I am just not a fan. So I would even need two assists here. See you later, Mark. Um so one, two, two, I would need two assists to make that a one die, which means I do need to go with the one die ogre block, I think. 
or we just try to dodge and dodge with as many as possible. I could also just go for the foul now, basically, and see if we can get this guy removed, first of all. Yeah, I guess so. I'm also running out of time. But this is still a 4 plus foul, so... Could work. Oh, we got caught. And we didn't get through, that's bad. And he gets sent off! Oh, come on! Second half! It's my offense and... Oh... This is not Kislev. Why? Why am I? Why is the second half all of a sudden just completely horrible for me? Because now, depending on how this goes, he's gonna knock down my entire team, except for two players or so, or three. But he can knock down all of these. We just need to pray for pushes. But I'm not gonna be. Yep. No, nope, that's not a push. I'm not gonna be able to disengage from that. Of course, he needs to pile on there. Yeah, he's already through. It's my most dangerous player. Man, this is so bad. And this is actually annoying. Really? My god, that turns sour. He gets the perfect defense thanks to the guard and his strength advantage. is just completely out of whack. Uh, we fail the foul. We get caught. Did he fail the foul? I think no, yeah. No, yeah, we, we rolled a double five there and then just didn't injure him and then the bribe rolled a one, so. I'm at a distinct disadvantage right now, I'd say. So I'm there's a really big chance that he's now actually going to score against me in this half, instead of the other way around. So I barely or I, I I managed to prevent it against... I can't talk. It's, I'm just... I'm so perplexed right now. It's, it's not good. This is screwing us over so much. And he's getting an armor break everywhere on top of everything right now. And that's just... It's... Oh. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight players left. That's two players removed. Plus the one that left the pitch not voluntarily via the... Ejection? God damn it, he still has 11 players, so now I'm on offense, I'm completely at his whim here, I'm not gonna be able to disengage or get good blocks. Man, I've never seen, uh, I think, well, uh, we've, we've seen that basically happen once per week by now, but I'm starting to get really annoyed that it keeps happening, that he's just, every damn time in the second half, my entire offense falls apart, or my entire team just falls apart. It's still not over yet, but I mean, let's face it. This is far from good. And then it's the second time in a row that my apothecary just went from dead to dead. I hate this so much right now. Really? So the only thing that's missing is him putting him right there. Just do it. I know you want to. Seriously? In, a, in, in, the, in the matter of one turn. He got the perfect defense. I lost four players. I lost my apothecary. And he killed one on top of everything. It's just so bad. What the hell? <laughs> I mean, what am I supposed to do with this? Honestly. I don't know what to do with this. How am I supposed to fix this? I don't think I even can fix this. That's the problem. I mean, let's face it, I can't try to set up a cage. He's just gonna box me in and keep me from being able to, to, to move anyways. Man, this is horrible. I, I actually have no idea what to do right now. Yeah, this is legitimately one of the worst turns I've ever seen. God damn it. Hmm. 
Let's try this. Good. It's a start, at least. Not a good start, but a start. Uh, he's gonna get that regardless. Come on, yes, armor break. That's what we needed. And we get an injury. Thank you. Okay. That's a good start. That's a really good start. And it's an important player as well. Okay. God damn, okay. What's the next thing we do? I am running out of time, so I do have to think. I think we can't afford to dodge him. We do want to dodge him. That's the one. I am going to reroll that one though, because that one is really important. Thank you so much. Better. A little bit better, but still not ideal. And him... He's going to stay, yeah. Not that I really have much time. Anyways, left door. Hey, Artbug. Man, so... Can we still do this? Unlikely? But we'll see. I've got a bit of a screen going right now. This guy is only pushing, which is good. He is giving himself another attempt there at blocking, though. But this guy doesn't have blocks, so hopefully if he attempts to... He's just gonna roll double both downs or something like that, but obviously he didn't, as we see now. Still, we've removed one really important guy. So this is not over yet. I'm not gonna give up. I think I've gotten it mostly out of my system, the overall annoyance at this. But man, that was just a harsh turn of, of, of the RNG there. Nuffle, why? Why? So let's just see. Maybe he makes a mistake. If he makes a mistake somewhere, there is a chance that we can get through there. He's going very hard on this right now, but he's still got this guy who is fast and him back there as well. We'll have to wait and see what he does there. But switching sides could be an option right now. He can throw the ball. He's not necessarily the best thrower, but I mean, he does have pass at least. So the medium long throw could happen. That works. No armor break. He is going to put himself next to me, though. Yeah, come on, roll the double one. Nope. Not even a single one there. So still, none of this is okay. That's good, though. Come on, roll another one of those. Nope, that's a turn... Or no, that's a not, not a turnover. That's me going down. Okay... How do we continue this? I actually, once again, do have an idea, but I don't like the execution part of it. One bit. What I can say is that my ogre has been reliable in terms of bonehead. He hasn't rolled a single one yet there. Which is really important. So bad. But I don't have a lot of options. Oh, come on. The first GFI fails. Not a fan. I am not a fan. If I had another reroll, or if I still, had, or if I had my reroll left, I would feel much better about this. But because we don't, this needs to be good enough, unfortunately.
issues. He's just going to move him, isn't he? So, going to throw a pass now. He even catches it. That's a big relief. And we finish it off by doing this. Hope for the dodge to work. Thank you. I wanted to do both GFIs, but since I failed the first one and I still had so much to do down here, I didn't want to risk that one. That would have put me out of blitzing range from this guy, so now all he needs to do is bring in this guy and then blitz me, unfortunately. We can't do much about that. Otherwise, he would have been the only one that really could have blitzed me. But we'll, we'll, we'll have to wait and see what he ends up doing with this. Um, but yeah, I'm not too... Too positive about our chances there. Hey, Ninja Britman. Oh, boy. There's the Blitz. He doesn't move anybody else, but doesn't necessarily need to. He knocks me down. That's to be expected. Probably down there. Nope. Well, maybe. Yeah. With another armor break. <sighs> this is just... It's not looking good at all. I did so well in the first half and almost scored against him if I had gotten through it on his own offense and then just the game says, no, this is a 19 whatever it is Chaos Dwarf team. You're not winning against that. Let me throw in all of that. And I'm, I should just stop again because I'm talking myself into the, the, the stupid rage again, which leads to nowhere and helps nobody. But it's just so annoying that that it, it happens too often in the late, in in the last weeks. It happens at least once per stream on three matches. That's just an annoying average to have. <sighs> because now all my inducements are also gone, except for the one babe. And it's just no fun to play like this. Basically, when I I hang on by the. the by a thread and then this it works and in the second half it just instantly falls apart and I don't even have to try to make it fall apart. The game just says nope anymore. But let's see, we're still not through here, it's just looking bad, but everything I do requires dice rolls now basically and that's never a good thing. And then he keeps getting decent dice rolls himself without the need to do anything. So no rerolls, nor dodges, or anything. And that's just unfortunate right now. It just it makes it so hard for me to do anything if nothing fails for him, basically. Um, I'll always be in the position, or in the worst position. I need for him to, to be forced into a mistake or just get make a mistake at some point. But even doing this one die here, which would have actually helped us significantly. Uh, if he had failed that, it would have been really good. But it's just not happening right now. So. Main issues right now, I think it's likely that he's going to go down in this direction since that's, I mean, it's, it's, I have, I've got no players there. All of my team is over here. Pretty much. But there's just so many problems with it. He could also just easily hand off the ball to this guy and then just move. But we have to assume that he's going to go in this direction. This is just so bad. I am gonna start moving my players back because now I'm I have to go back to to defense as much as possible, I think. Uh, but yeah. I know I haven't blitzed yet. That comes now. Not a good blitz, mind you, because it's gonna be the ogre again. But at least we've got a blitz, we've got an okay-ish setup there, an armor break would have been really appreciated. 
But let's just wait and see. Now he can move these guys in to shut me out. He can just uh, block me down here and then start moving in this direction. It's not good. I, in all likelihood, I'm gonna lose now. I'm pretty sure about that. I'm gonna keep trying here. But the whole situation certainly doesn't make this easy in, in any way. <sighs> I, I actually have no idea what he's going for. The thing is, he keeps doing stuff like this. Why, why, why do this block first? I mean, if he wants to move free, he can risk it, so probably that, but he never rolls bad block die right now. Just come on, please. A turnover there would have, would have helped me again. He's already at such a big advantage, he can use a turnover, doesn't he? Pretty sure he can. So, he's gonna blitz him. No, he's not. He's gonna block him. Because he gets assists too easily. So, where does he blitz? Is either gonna blitz this lineman or the ogre in that case, I think. Probably not the ogre since he doesn't have Dauntless. And he could only get a one die with an assist. But yeah, right now... The only thing that helps us right now still is these guys can still move. And these are at least in range. So depending on where he goes, he could... Oh no, he's just gonna... Ah, of course he goes into a cage. Why wouldn't he put himself into a cage? It's the most boring and safe thing to do. By the way, I have nothing against it. It's not a criticism. It's just... Uh, it, it basically nullifies any chance that I might still have had. Gets nullified by him going into a cage now because he's got just too much strength for and guard. And there's just no way I will be able to break in there. So it's just even worse of a chance to do anything. And then he keeps getting good blocks and he's probably going to get another removal there since this guy has mighty blow piling on. Mm, we'll see. Is he piling on? He is. So... Gets the stun. So that worked, I guess. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. So I can... This guy has dodge. Could do this one. Then we could also get the assists in here and have him blitz. I guess so ish. Something like that. Yeah, okay. So there, there, he's still gonna be down for now. Next up is the Blitz. At least we do get a knockdown there, but it doesn't help us that much. It does give me... Oh! At least I'm getting injuries! And at least I'm potentially killing a player here. Nope. Why would it? Why would that work? Of course it doesn't. Um, yeah, but still, at least his apothecary is gone. I'm still, at least, even though we do, we might get... Um, we might... What? We might lose this one. It's still pretty likely. At least, on the upside, we're still getting some injury SPP. It's not ideal, but it's somewhat working. Yeah, I think I'm still gonna take that re-roll there. Thank you. I've only got three turns left after this. Yes, the re-rolls would be helpful, but if he's he's in a position, if he keeps things safe, he might be able to stall this out. And this is the weak spot right now. Right now, he could easily move out of this, but now I... I we've basically, we've covered his entire cage corners here. Yeah, that's the issue here. Would have needed for him to be stunned there. Another knockdown. He's just also not getting pushes. 
Even even some pushes would be helpful by now. I would have appreciated a double both down there because that meant he would have needed to use a blitz to get rid of me. Which he can now use there easily to remove me and now he can move down here again where I'm not. So in all likelihood he was going to stall this out in turn 16 anyways. Uh, which is why I didn't want to save my, my rerolls. We, yeah, that's bad. We're going to have to live with this. Uh, rough one. This is a really rough one. I still think the way this... My God. The way this uh, turned, the, the second half, how, how it started out, it basically cost me almost everything. I was four players down instantly against a team that has a 460 higher team value and me not having any inducements left. It's just, it's not doable in all likelihood. I got close here, I think, again. Maybe I should have tried to play it safer, but then he would have just used the fast bolts and towers to run around my defenses. Um, I would not have been able to screen since he would have uh, based me with his blockers and knocked me down. So I had to try and go aggressive and make a move while I was in the position to do so. And it just didn't work out. And he's now, he's, I mean... I still have a chance here, but it's still a horrible one, because I'm still forced to do dodges. And all that stuff. It's just, it's not good. It's not impossible, it's just extremely unlikely, but we're gonna keep trying. Man... But I really wish the game would be a teensy bit more kind. I also need to do this because we don't want these guys to move. Still need to limit his movement options, basically. And these guys being on the ground doesn't matter if I turn over anyway. So we do this. I fail my dodge. Perfect. So we go down to no rerolls and possibly another player on the ground. Yep. There we go. So he's basically won. Of course, another injury. <laughs> Man, I'm not nearly as salty as with the Kislev last time, but this is just, this is frustrating. It's another one of those matches, like with Kislev last week, where it doesn't matter what I try to do, it just doesn't work. The first half was, even though I made a few my mistakes, we managed to, to prevent him from scoring, which felt like a minor miracle already, and then all of that. Yeah. Well... We'll see. By the way, just a fair warning, Graf Furious. If you're only here to annoy me and to be annoying, I am not gonna take kindly to that. Just a fair warning. Before you go, before you launch, launch into it. So far, it's not an issue. You're just, you're just playing a part. I know you like dwarfs. There's no issue there. But if you, if you overdo it, it's not gonna be good. Just, just throwing it out there. And yes, this is in part because I am a little bit annoyed right now. But um, it's just a fair warning in advance. But let's see. I mean, it's still not impossible, but let's face it, it's not going to happen. He will get the last turn. No, I would... What? Yeah, he will get the last turn. So, um, yeah, the team value difference, Green Spartan, was 460 in favor of him. I had a team value of 1500. Um... And he had a team value of 1960. So that should tell you tell you a lot about my chances in the beginning here as well. <laughs> is he going to stall this out or is he actually going to score? I think he's going to stall this out. Oh god, yeah. Wüstengoldmull. My god, what a name. Uh, that's difficult to read on dark mode right now as well. I just can't read that at all. There we go. Yeah, so in terms of inducements, I got a wizard, two bribes, a babe, and Helmut. In the first half, it went really well, but the second just... Um, we, we folded over completely. So how about this? That looks like fun, doesn't it? Oh, it's you. Uh, thank you very much for following. Man, I also need to butcher names, apparently. Uh, so, for one, I could either... I mean, I, I go big or go home at this point, isn't it? I guess. So, it doesn't help me to try and just assist here, blitz him, and then put ourselves next to him. 
that's not going to do us any good. If I try to prevent him from scoring now, I need to try and do it big. So it's 3 plus, 3 plus. No, 4 plus, 4 plus, 3 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus into a 1 die blitz. Isn't that good? Nope, failed the first one. <laughs> well, didn't really think that would happen. But sometimes you see those insane dice rolls. The, the, the desperation plays. Sometimes they work out. In this case, it obviously didn't. One, two, or one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he wouldn't have been much better, I think. And he at least had still that block. <sighs> well, it's the, 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 the ladder. The, it was the fireball of Furious. But man... It hurts quite a bit because of the, the injury here. It's, I mean, we got... Oh, wow, he scores a turn quicker than he needs to. He doesn't want to risk it? Okay, sure. He's still going to win this one. I really think I would win this one, honestly. We went into the second half with such a good setup. And then it all fell apart. Just out of the kickoff event, basically. The kickoff event completely destroyed me there. Already... I mean, Helmut then getting caught and sent off instantly didn't help our cause, but man. Yeah, I neither have the players nor the capacity to... to get what I need there. God damn. Can you just please not get another... At least not get another, um, what's the word, another perfect defense. That's a bit of an issue, but we'll see, we'll see. So, yeah, bit of a bummer, but overall still a good match. I apologize for the, the, the starting saltiness and all that stuff again. Um, but yeah, <laughs> oh, what? The problem is, I still only have six players left. It's not gonna do us any good. Sure. I'm just gonna go for... for everything else now. I want the three die there, though, if I can get it. So we need to do this block. No, it's a one die. I can't even get there. That's fine. No! I, I, there is no chance I'm going to score this. It's not going to happen. I'm just trying to not do super worse here. And maybe get another injury. We also can't get the three die because the game is not nice to me. But at least we still knock him down, so that's okay. No injury there, though. And then maybe Zasha gets something. I mean, I'm going to pile on now. It's basically the end. But I just can't get the, the ammo breaks. The thing is, what this could actually mean is him scoring again. I would just realize that, which I would like to prevent if possible. Because these guys are fast enough to put themselves right there. And then he could run it in next turn again, which would be worse... But my god, really? <laughs> this is just... The game's really mean right now. Why is this necessary? At least he only pushes me, so... I mean, he could push me on the ball, which is what he ends up doing. Of course. Scatters outside. All the way back there. Sure. So now he's gonna start running. No! <laughs> ah, is he gonna score again? I mean, I have six players left, what I'm supposed to do, if, especially if the ball just lands right there, which is such a... Ah. It's so bad, this second half, man. Come on, do more GFIs. I mean, he doesn't want to score with this one, so he really should, just, should have just kept him there, I think. But, wow. <laughs> There's just not much we can do there. Yeah, I know. Overall, I, sh I still should be... 
I still, I mean, I'm still happy with my, um, with my performance here, basically. Uh, and I know losing this one is not really that bad, because I had an uphill battle the entire time, basically. But it's, it's a point of personal pride, and if the game hadn't screwed me in a major way, which I still, which I think is a, de a definite valid point, I would have had a serious chance of winning. Um, or at least keeping the tie. And it's just unfortunate that now, because the, the, the kickoff events and all of that favor him so badly, and it's he has a chance to even get this more, basically. Because he's got two scoring chances now, I've got no way of preventing anything there. Um, and then I keep pushing, so yay for pushing. And it's just all around kind of... I'd like to be able to do more and it's just annoying that I can't. But also he can't score, so I miscounted, or he didn't do them all. I think I miscounted, so it doesn't matter too much. Which means... Which means I need two assists over here to try and prevent the serve that's gonna come. So, damage prevention is still more important. Uh, oh god, he's got strength 4. He can set stuff up. He can do that. Yeah, we need to follow. Question is who I blitz with. Do I blitz with him because he's got mighty blow piling on? Or do I blitz with the ogre? Or try to blitz with the ogre since it could level him up? I think I'm gonna go with the ogre. Let's see. It's no piling on, but he would at least level up out of this. Come on, please. Nope, just a stun. Ah, well, what can you do? And then we'll move him back down there. He still can't score against us, which is fine. He can at least go for this. Um, he did play a very good game, so... There's that. It happens, it happens. Still, I, I, it's just as I've said, I, I, I get salty at things like these because I know that it wasn't my fault in the second half that we screwed, that we, we, we lost this. The game just completely screwed us over. And that just happens too often and that's what annoys me right now, basically. We had an uphill battle, so even getting a tie here would have been uh, a kind of, I don't know, a moral victory, I guess. But... <laughs> I, I play this game so much and I, I've played it for so long that I, my, my expectations are just more than than not dying against an opponent like this, basically. So I was just hoping for more. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, but I mean, what can you do? We got some SPP. We do have to replace one player though, um, our catcher. Who was just, I think he, it's not the first time he died either. Um, but yeah, the Apo going from dead to dead didn't have our cost. The six on the winnings is nice at least, so replacing him is going to be pretty easy. We do have the money for that. So. But we did at least get a decent amount of SPP there. I think not a single level up though. Did we get one? Let's check. Uh, humans, there they are. Nope, not a single level up. So we just lost one player. Again, we also have two MNGs, which doesn't help, and we'll just have to rehire the guy. Um, but I'm gonna have to look up his name again. Doesn't matter too much as long as we don't play another match with the humans right now. So let's check the vote again. If it changed again. Let's see, right now Lizardmen are still in the lead, but uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Because, as always, I am going to take a quick five minute break right now, um, and then we are going to continue from here on. So you've got a few more minutes to vote on the the next match. It's unfortunate how this one worked out. I still think I, I tried my best there, um, and once again I apologize for the saltiness, all the, the, the stuff. And yeah, we'll 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 just move on. We'll try again. We can we can do better in the next one. That's that needs to be the I need to tell myself that because the alternative is not is not better. 